Well, we're doing it. It's like a weird time that we're doing this too, because it's like on the eve of this election. It feels today. It feels like a weird day today, man. Everybody's kind of like kind of on one today. Like everyone, it's like a pins and needles. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? It's yeah, fun. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I, I definitely weird. You, you, can, you can you can feel the fucking energy, bro. I don't even be talking about politics like that, bro. But you can definitely feel that shit in the air, bro. You can cut that shit with a knife. Yeah, you know man. Saying? How'd you start doing this shit, bro? I mean, I appreciate it, man. You always just I just got on to you because because the people was always directing me to your shit. Yeah. Like, oh, he reacted to you, whatever. I'm like, oh, this shit is dope, and it's like I appreciate all the love, man. For real, for yeah. real, for real, man. Real shit. I just I saw people doing this YouTube shit. Like, bro, I could do that. And motherfucker was missing bars and not <laughs> yeah. and not appreciating the shit like they needed to be appreciating. Like, I can do this shit better than they can. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, I've just if motherfucker could spit, a motherfucker could spit. And I came across you like early on before my shit was moving at all. So I was very, I was already aware of you before. Like, like your shit moving a lot more than it was back then. And I was onto you back then. I was and I was putting, yeah, yeah. I was putting motherfuckers onto you back then. Like, bruh. Like you one of them, you one of them fucking aliens, dog. Like you don't you don't look like the way you sound. Oh, okay. And then when you fucking the shit you fucking say. Yeah. Anyway, but I wanted to get I wanted to get into that when we start this fucking interview for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you know what I'm saying? I just want to support, bro. I bring, I want to bring attention back to what's really important in this shit. You know what I'm saying? And then like, you know how this shit is. You know how the state of hip hop is right now, man. But uh, like, I, I love this shit. You know what I'm saying? I just love it. and I love appreciate motherfuckers actually out here doing it and not. Just falling in with the fucking corny ass trend of what's making money and shit, and that does not yeah. seem to be your, your priority at all right now. But you, you fucking you talking your shit. You know what I'm saying? You talking your shit. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, I appreciate it. Nah, yeah, like it's it's weird, man. Fucking, it's just a weird ass time. I mean, stuff's starting to come back to to the real shit. Cause like I'm watching the world change, and then people are starting to fuck with like the bar heavy shit again. Like you know, everybody's on like Griselda's dick right now, and like. Yeah. Oh, and shit like that so it's cool I mean you know the pendulum swings you know what I mean but the other thing is like well people don't uh, people just don't are hip to the game it's like all that shit that like be blown like them dudes don't have any money bro <laughs> like that, that shit is not, that shit is not even um cause, so it's not even that hard of a decision like if you're smart you know what I'm saying it's like oh should I chase money or should you're not really chasing money you're chasing like fame more than money because yeah. because if you really want to like make money for a long period of time in this shit bro it's like it's motherfuckers like me that like you put the years in and you build the fan base and you build the the business and you build the model and it's yeah. sustainable you might not ever get that one check that's like a gazillion like you know they don't even be that crazy bro and then it's like you're just asked out it's like so it's it's a uh, it's it's weird, but that's why I fuck with you heavy because it's like almost every other avenue in the in this shit where people get exposure. It's like it's like everyone has just got a, like a OD agenda. Yeah, and some of it's a business, and I understand it is what it is. But I just seen that like you always just really fucked with the shit, and yeah. I was just like, that's what's up. That's yeah. love because I, that's what people always wonder what it's gonna take. Like, what's it gonna take for somebody like like me or whoever to be back at the forefront again. Yeah, it's it's like, yo, yeah. it's, it's going to take people, it's going to take you being like, like we're the ones that make shit hot or not hot. Yeah, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, you like, you know, it's like if motherfuckers fuck with some shit because it's hot, like then it'll get hot. If you fuck with it because it's already like popping or whatever, then it's going to keep being whack shit that's, yeah. you know, so, um, but yeah, man, I, I appreciate it, bro. Shit is, uh, that's why as soon as you're like, yo, let's do the interview, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, de- I wanted to, even just, I mean, it benefits the both of us, of course. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I just wanted to pick your brain about, about, like, your focus and shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Because, like you're saying, the state of, the state of hip-hop is fucking whack. And you said the pendulum swing, you get, like, bar-heavy motherfuckers every now and again. But in the grand scheme of things, all that bullshit is what's winning. They getting the most checks and all this shit. I don't, I don't understand the business aspect of it, but, like, but, like, and I don't want to talk shit about nobody, call nobody out by their fucking names and shit, but you can see she, see by the fucking numbers. Like, some fucking yeah. whack, some whack shit will come out, get like four million views in one day on fucking YouTube, and it's it. And, right. and, 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 and I get frustrated because, like, I, I low-key get mad at the artists, but I can't get mad at the artists because if, if, what they sh- if what they're doing is winning, I can't get mad at them. They gonna fucking, I can't, they right. gonna do that shit regardless. It's on, the, it's on us, it's the fans. And it's the fans that's got all the fucking power to 
to actually do shit. So I feel like artists like you need motherfuckers that, you know what I'm saying, have an influence to actually like bring motherfuckers' attention to what really fucking matters. And that's what I've like uh, noticed the most about like whatever influence I got and what I've you know been able to build so far. It's like I've actually had conversations where I'm bringing motherfuckers who wasn't even like focused on this type of shit you do. And I'm, right. and I'm and I'm breaking it down, letting them know, like, bro, this is lo, this shit they doing is low key amazing. And they don't they don't fucking realize it because they don't have those type of ears, you know what I'm saying? Right. And then it's like it's almost, it's almost like teaching class. And then now they focus right. on this shit. Now they fucking sitting here actually using some fucking brain power, understanding what motherfuckers is doing because the shit that's right. the, the shit that's winning doesn't. Rec- and I say it's winning just by what I see. I, I'm not a, I'm not in the business at all, so I don't know you no. Know, business like how you saying like building building a brand and all that shit but like you can go viral fucking one day and get a bag and then it's on that artist to like make some shit out of that but they can get a fucking bag just doing bullshit and then and yeah. it, it don't take no brain power just fucking put a beat in the hook and talk about fucking lean or pills or whatever the fuck and it's gonna fucking win and i, I was like yeah. and, and 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 I don't, I don't rap at all but i just i see it and i'm like artists like you i feel like that like that has to be like discouraging or frustrating or whatever, bro. Because you, I know you put like your blood, sweat, and tears into your pen. You put all the, all this energy into your pen, and for that shit not to get recognized for for what it is, it's got to be fucking frustrating, dog. It's got to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it it is, but like it's funny. Like people ask me that a lot, and I'm like, yo, wait, when it comes to like dumb kids, like I don't really that shit doesn't bother me because the way I view it is just. We doing we trying to do two completely different things. Yeah. Like I it's just I don't view it as the same thing. It's like I, I'm upset on a societal level yeah. for the influence it has and what it says about us, but that's, it doesn't bother that's me. Big, bro. That's like big, what bothers bro. what bothers me, uh, where I get petty or where I get frustrated is like people who I care about, like within the culture. And I get a lot of respect within the actual culture, but when when I don't get the respect or I feel like sometimes the love, like like you know, it's a good example of like Griselda is a good example with Benny and them guys. Them guys are dope as hell. Dope as fuck. Dope as fuck. I'm sick. But imagine being me, being like, now this year everyone cares about bars. Mm-hmm. I've been I've been doing this for five years, but I'm the skinny white boy, so none of y'all OGs that care so much about the culture was jacking me my shit and you wouldn't want to see me and now but the hood motherfucker showed up started doing it again now you with it and it's like that's that whole i was trying yeah that's that whole little marketing shit bro that street image that street cred and shit you know what i'm saying exactly so like that shit that shit is more frustrating because i on a personal level like i crave the respect of actual culture and the ogs and like because i'm i'm sitting over here being like man like I, these, a lot of these dudes is dope. But I I feel like I'm up there with whoever you're you right. saying. You're I'm, fucking right. And I'm looking, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, you know, so that shit more than like when I see like fucking like Takashi or something. Like I don't get mad about. Like I get mad that my friends like buy into some of this shit because I'm like, yo, y'all like gotta understand. I'm worried about y'all, but I don't get mad on a level of like, damn, I'm trying to get money. Like the, I'm not really motivated that that hard, but. By, by like that type of fame money or whatever like that shit makes you sick anyway you you gotta think long term it's like bro if, if you if i blew up that fast i wouldn't i pro- probably wouldn't be able to handle that shit and fuck with my mental it's like yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. people want people want things like i i feel like i'm my my train is moving right on time you yeah, know what i'm saying yeah. and, and just gotta keep 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 going but like i said it frustrates me but more for like the, for what it is uh, p- that my friends and my peers and people I care about and young people and kids are yeah. blind to it that it's just old white guys working for labels making all the money manipulating mm-hmm. these young kids feeding bullshit to you so that you go imitate it mm-hmm. and it's like yeah so it's like it that you know it's frustrating but but I honestly don't get frustrated anymore with like the, the with this shit like on a personal level because I just view it as like you're gonna get a, maybe get a bag for like two years and then be gone. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to do it totally different thing. Yeah, like, I'm yeah, not even yeah. trying. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's one of the main areas I wanted to talk to you about, and you you explained it perfectly. And I get frustrated by the audience because they feed into all that bullshit. But I think that's like big on you though, bro, because. I mean, that leads me into another question. Like, I mean, I know you want to be as successful as possible in this rap shit, but it does, that doesn't seem to be like your focus is like you're, you're at the beginning stages of like 
creating this career. And I, th I think you're gonna have it for a long time. You're doing it. You're doing it the right way. Motherfuckers that fuck with you, they fuck with you. Like you building a fucking following, a cult following, and you're gonna get to the point where no matter what the fuck you do, they're gonna follow your ass. What's what is your main focus, bro? Because like the shit you talk about, it's like. It's very, it's triggering, you know what I'm saying? Especially in this, in this political world. It's, it's, it just seems to me like you, you focused on standing on your tin and putting your agenda out there. Whoever fuck with it, fuck with it. If they don't, they don't. That makes me have so much respect for you because you know how this political shit is. Like motherfuckers, you say some shit that they, they, they don't resonate with, they gonna just turn you off. And that's gonna fuck up your shit as far as getting that celebrity that you require in this rap shit. You know what I'm saying? So what what's the main focus? Is it is it being... Being respected in the game, is it being like recognizing that celebrity level right now? Is it just putting this agenda out with how society is and all that shit? Like, what's the main focus for you? Man, it's like, I mean, my main focus is like, I want to make art that I love, that is that I feel like is important, mm -hmm. that I feel like is speaking truth and that is pushing the envelope musically. I want to make the best music I could possibly make. Mm -hmm. And I want to leave a legacy of of music and and work, you know, on on the earth, you know, after I'm gone, and an imprint on the culture mm -hmm. that can't really be taken away, and 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 like that's what I want to do. And so then that's like primary, and then secondary, it's like okay, now how do I make a living doing that? Yeah, because okay. that's not changing. Like, yeah. That's the goal. So yeah. it's like, and I think a lot of motherfuckers do that shit backwards like how do i get on and then i'll figure out how to be happy or how to yeah. or how to do positive shit later that's dope bro and that's it's like that's a whole bar right there bro that's that's dope as shit so, so that so for me it's like you know my goals and i look my goal is to be one of the biggest rappers one of the best mcs musicians that ever lived and mm -hmm. like um i like that goal hasn't changed and um but you know it's not really about especially as we go forward you know it's like you look at great artists, a lot of them are underappreciated in their time. Yeah. But not only that, it's like, I just don't, I just don't like this. The commercial successes, I, I believe that I can be one of these guys like a Kendrick or a Cole that mm -hmm. can blend those worlds and can do both. And that can represent like the be the guy who's at the mainstream is super, super big that people like you are still proud of. Mm -hmm. Like, that's my guy out yeah. there, you know, yeah. like in, in that space. Yeah. And, you know, and I can blend those worlds and do that. And so that is the goal. The goal is to be as big as possible and 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 add that truth and add that real and that perspective into the conversation. But what I've come to peace with is that, like, uh. I mean, I just won't sacrifice to get there. I got you. So if it's not in, if it's not in the cards to like be doing arenas, like without compromising my values, yeah. then it, then it's not in the cards. Like oh. I, I can live with that. Yeah. I can't live with with chain like like compromising on who I am yeah. or my artistic integrity to fucking get to that point because yeah. I know too. I know for a fact. I'll get there. I'll be miserable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I look at a lot of these cats and I'm like, and I know how it is. And I know they're on major labels. And I know what their lives are like. And I'm like, I wouldn't even be happy if I was you. Yeah. Like, yeah, I want I want the credit that you're getting, but I don't need that. Like, I, I would be I would be tight, bro. So. So, yeah. So, that those you know, that's the goals. You got to grow it if it's going to last. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, if you if it's. 10 years to build the shit then i'm gonna be there for 30 years Fucking like it's right. not yeah. it, you can't you can't like you can't skip steps motherfuckers blow up in a year and then they but they don't but then they be gone after a few yeah, years yeah. i remember when i got into into the game like a lot of people labels or whoever when they're trying to like convince you that they fuck you like you know we think you could really have a real you know five to ten year career and they're saying this to me as if that's like as if that's like wow, like yeah. wow, and I'm like, nah, that so what you. happens when I'm thirty something? Am I gonna be dead? Like, yeah. am I gonna be dead? Like, come on, bro, I'm trying to be here forever. I'm trying to like build something that's bigger than any one thing. So yeah, that's yeah, you dope, bro. Me? Hell yeah, that's dope as fuck, dog. And that's what. Have you had like any any like help or like mentoring or whatever the fuck to get you to have that mind state, dog? Because that's big, bro. You know what I'm saying? To like. Look past that and do it your way. You know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah. the fuck the advances. Like give you some common not common sense, but like some some practicality in this shit. Like, bro, that shit looks 
it looks it looks like it's the luxurious way this it's a dope way but that's not for me you know what i'm saying like that's like mature as fuck you know what I'm saying? That's you understanding what the fuck it is at our early at our early on before you even knew you had anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. How, how did you did you get to that mindset on your own or like you have you have like a solid team around you? Like, yeah, I mean, like you know, I just think that for me, I just you know I got come from like my parents. I could give a lot of credit to my parents, but I also I also just and I got a solid team around me now. Yeah, but. I don't know. I was just always the vision. Like I've been through a lot in my life, like on a mental level, you know, just dealing with anxiety, depression, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I just know, I just know how like things aren't, can, can be not what they seem. Yeah. And I just know that like, it's no good if I get there and I'm miserable mm -hmm. because I've like, you know, experienced that type of stuff where it's like very difficult. So for me, you know, and, and also cause music, I just have too much respect. Like this culture and this music shit like saved my life. Like mm -hmm. no exaggeration. Mm -hmm. So I know what it can do for people. I know what it's done for me and mm -hmm. I wouldn't disrespect it. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. To treat it like, like some something fickle to be played with. Like, so so I've always just felt that way. And I, I always just felt like um, I'd never be happy doing it any other way but but my way and i peep game man i'm the guy that like watches all the interviews my favorite artists mm -hmm. growing up like i want like i want like i listen i listen and if you listen they're telling you bro like you, these artists are telling you they're telling you on the business side they're telling you how this shit is fucked up if we choose to just see you know what they what they're doing this that whatever but if you listen they're telling you you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying yeah and anyway, it's that it's that perfect time now with all like everybody being independent and having to rely on that shit. So it's like the perfect pocket to do everything your own way. So it makes it makes sense in that, that aspect as well. That's the first. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to pull you over here, bro. Cause I wanted to see where your headspace was. Cause the shit you talk about is like some heavy shit, dog. Early, yeah, yeah. Like, er, early on in your career, it's like heavy shit. And I say this shit every fucking time, man. Like, but. At the end of the day, you want to do it your way. And if motherfuckers fuck with you, they fuck with you. If, you. if they don't, they don't. But you building. And we don't got, and we don't got time to play. It's yeah. like, yo, bro, look at the world, bro. Look at the world. Like, motherfucker, like, yo, this shit is like, this is what happens. We're living in the fall of an empire. And this is what happens when everybody kind of turns a blind eye or is like, nah, it's not on me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's on all of us. And I mean, yo, like, I've lost money. Like, I... You know, like I've lost opportunities. I already, I, I don't know how many I've lost that I don't know about, but I know ones that I do mm -hmm. based on the political shit that I've done, yeah. you know, early in my career. And, you know, uh, opportunities that could have brought in a lot of exposure or a lot of money um, for what would be a lot of money for me at the time. And, like, you know, I just live with that though. I mean, it's like I, I idolize, like, I don't idolize, like, rappers that hard i idolize them musically mm -hmm. but I, I i don't idolize them as people as yeah. like i idolize like like cornell west and dave Chappelle yeah. and like fuck you know like james baldwin and I, I like i'm trying to like fuck with the progression of the world like yeah. i'm not trying to like see my friends do have better opportunities and do better like i'm not i'm not i don't give a fuck about like because you see what happens now with this celebrity culture shit it's like one by one we finding out that like they're like like yo, like rappers are doing all this dumb shit, and or politically out of tune. But it's like yo, what did you think, bro? Like, yeah. what did you think? <laughs> like, what? so you know, I, that that's a that's a challenge too because I do know a little bit more about what I'm talking about in certain spaces. But but and I have people that follow me, but it's kind of like yo, don't even follow me like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because there are so many people in this world that are really doing the work every day on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I'm just an artist. I'm here to like communicate it to people. You know what I mean? Like that's my that's my job. That's hard, bro. That's dope, bro. Like you 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 were definitely. I mean, I knew you was a real one, a solid one, just based on your music, dog. But hearing you talk about it just solidifies that even more for me, man. Because I'm pretty I, sure the majority, probably the majority, of all these fucking slavery artists don't have the fucking mind space you got. It's all about that bag. And at the end of the day, it's about it's about the bag and success and all that shit, man. But like, you want to do it. You want to do it your own way. And you doing this? You doing it? You doing this your way? Is gonna they say it's gonna extend your your time with this fucking spotlight, dog. So yeah, man, that's what's up, bro. All right, so let's um get it, get into like you as the rapper, bro. When the when did you know like you had something? Like when did you know that you was nice? 
Um, you, you know, it's funny. Like, so last night, for some reason, mad late at night, I like came across us old music from my first started, like the first songs I made, like in 2012, and these shits were so trash. I was listening. To <laughs> I was like, yo, this shit is really is really trash. And I was like, wow, like I've really come a long way. And so so the answer to that question is like it's two it's twofold because I knew I had something like I, I was writing raps like in secret. I didn't really want to share them. And when I was like sixteen, it was a couple times where I was on the block, people were drinking, da da and I like would bust out some rhymes and everyone was just like, Oh shit. I remember one night in particular, everyone was like, Yo, this motherfucker is really nice. Da 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 and all the older homies and I was hype. I went home like really hype. And I was like, All right, I know I could I, I'm kinda good. Um, but uh so that was in the beginning that made me like wanna go. But how, long, I didn't how, how, long, how long ago was that? That was when I was like six. That was like nine years ago. Okay, no, that was like I'm 27. So that that was like when I when I you know later in college it was it just became this thing like I don't know I always felt I was good, um, but but like, but like good enough to put energy into it. You know what I'm saying? Investing and yeah, all that. yeah, yeah. When is when? That was that was in college. That was yeah. in college. I was 19. I was 19. I was like eight years ago. Yeah, like eight years ago, fucking. Um, and it was mostly, though, just because I was so down and out. Like, I was just in such a bad place, and the music and making the music and doing the writing was what was really getting me through. So I decided, like, yo, this is really what I want to do. This is who I want to be because this is what I need. It wasn't so much about, like, I'm dumb nice. So I got, it was like, I got to get nice enough because this is the thing that I need. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, this is what does it for me. So, you All know right. what I mean? All right. That's what's up, bro. Dude, you listen to anybody right now? Like, like currently yeah i listen to a lot i mean i'm listening to a lot of shit i mean i like like we, I, I like griselda a lot yeah. fucking benny the butchers dumb his last, nice his last I mean, album, I, this album is hard that shit is hard bro hard that shit is super dope um i listen what else am i listening to i just got put on this dude stove god stove god cooks he's kind of he's he's pretty dope um i listen to like i mean i'm a big saba fan i'm a big boogie fan I'm a big uh like a New York head for real. Yeah, Ken- Kendrick Kendrick is um is like my favorite rapper, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. I listen to a ton of different shit. I'm listening to like I was listening to Stevie Wonder earlier today. I- I'm just always trying to like listen to different shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But like your big biggest influences like like who help who mold you to to help you rap as well as you do right now? Man, I mean, you know, I, I just from learning from people like Kendrick, from people like Cole, from people like, you know, like all the old shit I used to listen to. I used to listen to like Cassidy, like G Unit, D Block, all that. Like, I mean, I come, but I come, I listen to everything and I just soak it all in. Yeah. And then like I make Jenkins. I listen to a lot of like a lot of shit and there's so many dope people. And you know what's crazy? It's like there is, there's so much dope hip hop right now. It's just that like, it just depends where we look and what mm. we, it's on like, the fans. It's on the fans. It's on the audience. Yeah. It's on the audience. Because, yo, there's actually probably more dope hip-hop music right now that's out that's than there ever has Facts. Been. Facts. There's just more of everything. There's just so much of everything. And there's so many dope artists. And it's like, yeah, if you just go into, like, you know, the radio or, like, you just go into, like, what, the five videos with the most views or whatever it is, mm-hmm. and, yeah, it's tough, but... There's so much. There's so much dope shit right now, and it and it really is. That's why I'm about empowering people. What you're talking about with like teaching people, like showing them, like yo, this is what he's doing and whatever. Because that that basically is the version of what older homies did to me on the block. Like mm-hmm. like I'm looking for rhymes, and they're like, yo, you hear this shit? Like he said, da 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 da. I'm like, and I'm, like have, I'm like pretending like I get it. I don't even yeah, get it. I go yeah, home later and listen. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like you do like the internet version of that. And people like we just gotta empower fans to to be like, yo, this is this is like 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 check out what this is. And also, you know, decide what it is that you're gonna support and what you like because everyone thinks that they're not the one. Like when somebody goes on the live stream or whatever and it's got a million people on there and it's like everyone's there to watch the show mm. you know all views are created equal it doesn't matter if you're a fan or not a fan if you're clicking mm. you're purchasing yeah and, and so it's like you are purchasing the whack shit when you show up to watch it Fact. and so it's like go where the dope shit is and buy it 
Fact. You know what I'm saying? With your clicks, with your attention. Because that's what the economy is now. It's like, it's attention. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you give things your attention, people want to be like, yo, everything is whack. And it's like, yo, motherfucker, you're whack then because you're the one watching all yeah, that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. You, you, if you, if you could live a life where if you go to the spaces of the internet or wherever it is you find music that only have the dope shit, mm. you could be like, man, everything's dope. Like, it's really all perspective. You know what I'm saying? People don't understand their own power. Like, you know, everyone could just check out on motherfuckers and then they'd be done. But that, you know, that's, like, but that's you talking about like the one percent of people like it's like a like a psychological thing, bro. Because all that all that bullshit is being pressed on them. You know what I'm saying? There's a whole there's a whole agenda yeah. to put that that whack shit out. So it's gonna take uh, no, no, uh, a fan proactiveness to go seek what's dope. Like as you're I you I think I totally agree with you. There's so much dope rap out here, and I get frustrated for those individuals because that's the shit that's supposed to be hot, but that's on the audience. Like, I, I put a whole video out about that, talking about that shit. Like, I can't blame them. It's y'all the audience. Y'all are fucking up. Y'all are fucking up, because it's... it's right. Artists is barring heavy all fucking day, every day. But it's just... People are too weak. <laughs> They're like sheep. All right, this is what's hot. So we're going to look at this. This is what's hot. No, that's not what's hot, right, y'all. Right, right. That's not what's hot, man. Right. Just because everybody's going that way does not mean you need to go that way as well. So... Like, I just want right, to do right. my part to break that shit up and, you know what I'm saying, bring attention to what really fucking matters, bro. And then I was like, hey, like, yo, you supposed to be a lot more popping than you are, but it's just the time we live in right now, bro. Like, uh, I feel it. I, I, you know, listen, of course I agree, but, you know, but but you're right because it's true. Like, you have to take one more step. And, like, it, it is worth critiquing and blaming people, like, the people that are in charge. I mean, they're pressing this, they're, they're doing a bunch of bullshit, and, and that's where all the money's going, whatever. Mm-hmm. And really what it is, you know, but the truth about the money thing is, is it's it's about, the reason they push that shit on is because that's the money that they can take advantage of. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the money where the rapper was just, like, came up and is in a shitty deal, and almost all the money's going to the label. Yeah. Like, it's, they make more money when they recycle people. Mm-hmm. When you have a artist that's empowered and stays around for career and moves then they they get a bigger piece of the pie Mm -hmm. and that's how it works because the truth is when it comes to money like you look at the top of the charts the top of the charts are still even in terms of who's selling the most because kendrick's up there cole's up there uh uh drake is up there Mm -hmm. however you feel about drake but he's not like one of these fucking bums you know what i'm saying he's one of the best pop artists ever so like you got you got like you got um, all these people at the top, and then yeah, you got like other other people that are up there, like Tyler the Creator is up there. Mm-hmm. You're talking about like who's making money? I'm talking about dollar amounts. Yeah, you got Ross, you got people like the if you want to talk about who's making money. What it is is the question is who's making money for rich white people that own big record labels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and so like the 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 perception of like who's popping. It's like well, what are you basing? Popping this on because mm. even if you're talking about who makes the most money, it's way more even than it seems. Yeah. So so it's like when people think they're chasing money, it's like I don't know, man. Mm. Like because honestly, the smarter bet on chasing money, people just don't like to do the work though. Like you know what I mean? Like it's hard because and I and 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 it's true. Like yo, like because I, I got friends around me that are wild talented, right? Mm. And they don't. Um, you know, they're, but they're kind of half stepping on music stuff. And it's like, I'm sitting there just going, like, man, yo, I've been at this now for real, for real, for like five, six years. And I've been going really hard. And I've never really had any major setbacks. Like, I've pretty much steadily been going up. Mm-hmm. And I've been dumb nice for a while making great quality music. And I'm still just here where I'm at. Mm-hmm. Like, we're going to get there, but I'm, but I'm five, six years in. So are you going to be able to sit in for five to ten years and create a career for yeah. real, for real? People don't want to do that. Like, people don't want to put in that time, that work, especially when there's no guarantee in this well, shit. Yeah. I, could, I could lose it all tomorrow. Like, and then, yeah. and, you know, so, so it's tough, bro. It's tough. And that and the other way is like, well, if I keep throwing paint at the wall, maybe overnight I'll get a bag. And mm-hmm. I'd rather just do that because that's, you know what I mean? Yeah, but but you, 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 I mean, you, you're doing it right the way. You, you're betting on yourself. Like, you're betting on yourself. I'd rather bet on myself than just go viral. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I feel it, man. I feel it, bro. So, um, what's next though? You got you got a you got a new project coming out? Cause you, you just you, you just put a bunch of shit out not too long ago. I'm going ham from now on, bro. Cause I've backlogged on so much shit because I've been just working, working, working. So I got this new album. It's coming out at the top of 2021. All right. Um and 
I'm really, really excited about it. Like, I'm really proud of it. It's definitely a huge step up. Um, that's yeah. So we're just gonna keep dropping singles from that album between mm-hmm. now and the top of the year, and come up at the top of the year, and then I'm not slowing down. I mean, I, I got like another, I'm gonna have drop another album in 20. I'm gonna at least drop at least two projects in 2021. Yeah, you might. So well. um, and this is yeah, we gonna like, at least, bro. We, we it's time. It's yeah, time. And the, all this COVID shit, you ain't got no excuse but the kitchen's putting all this content out, man. And like you haven't every every That's every every heard. fucking single I've heard from you was hard, dog. <laughs> every last fucking single I've heard from oh, you was you. hard, bro. Like, you know, I I got a different appreciation for bars than your typical motherfucker, man. But like like my my girl, for example, but she don't really care about bars and shit, but she's getting a little hip hop ear now for fucking being around. But before she's got that ear, I let her I let her hear your uh your, your gang shit, bro. <laughs> she bumped that shit by herself now, dog. Yeah. That's not that's not, like, that's, that's not your little missy. Oh, that's, that's not your little missy prissy type of song, bro. That's not the type of shit she fucking listen to, bro. But she's like, oh my god, that shit is fucking hard. Yeah. Like, motherfucker, I told you, bro. This motherfucker ain't playing, oh, dog. Dope, it's dope as shit, man. But I'm, I'm, I guess it's, so dope. it's nice to fucking see. I mean, it's dope as fuck just talking to you, doing this, this social media shit that's had us connect or whatever, but just from, from yeah. seeing you at the beginning, I don't know if that was the beginning, but the two years ago, when you, you like a fucking baby on Sway. And I was like, who the fuck is this motherfucker, dog? I do, yeah. I, really, who the fuck is I saw that the other day. I was like, God damn, I look wild, young, bro. bro but then it's both- aged a lot in the yeah. last two years. But I'm saying, like, it's just the, the dynamic of it, bro. Like, you looking like that and just spitting bars, dog. I'm like, what? And then I seen your ass come up there again. You know what I'm saying? I remember that all this shit like yesterday. Like one, your when you did that uh, that shit for flex, that shit for flex going yeah. like 10, 11 minutes, bro. Like that shit still stand out to me, bro. Like that's probably I, don't, I think in my title that on my on my reaction video, I was like that's that's the dopest shit I heard this year. And I I pump those reaction videos oh, out, bro. Man. I pump them out, man. You know what I'm saying? So like I, I've been wow. peeping game, dog, and like you you top notch, bro. And it ain't too many motherfuckers out here fucking with you. And then they hear your your mentality about it and shit. Like you ain't on no commercial shit. You ain't here that's trying to chase a bag. You're trying to leave a legacy and do it your right, do it the right way, yeah. do it your way. And like, you know what I'm saying? Picking your brain, like looking at your perspective on things, bro. Like you're gonna you gonna be on here for a long time, dog. Cause the I fans the, it, the fans that fuck with you are gonna fuck with you. Cult following type shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do do no wrong, but you don't put no wrong shit out, dog. You're doing the right, you're doing it the right way, right way, man. So that's All what's right, up, I appreciate man. it, man. Thank Hell you, yeah, man. man. Hell yeah, yeah dog. But, I mean, I, I appreciate you fucking letting me got them connect with you, bro, and do this shit, man. This, this is going to be good for the fans. It's going to be good for the culture. It's going to be good for everything. Letting you talk and everybody see how your head space is. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, man. man. This, is, this is dope, bro. I mean, like I said, and I think it's cool for, for, for y'all, too. It's like, you know... You know, like the content creators are the new PR, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like you you the new you the new radio, you yeah. the new like we don't have enough um gatekeepers that actually care about the culture, yeah. bro. Like it used to be people that would like say what's hot yeah. and you knew who they were and they had to be accountable because they had a brand and they had they were known for their taste. Yeah. And now everyone's just known for identifying what's hot yeah so it's like i think it's dope that you are venturing into doing interviews period and i just think it's dope you continue to grow the thing because we need people that are in charge of like curating content that give a shit about about what's hot because you know otherwise it's just and 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 it's great because it's like you know you have you got your own platform that you own so you don't you don't have to fucking like you built your own shit like you're you so you don't have to be like answering to a boss that yeah. like you want to bring Marlon Craft into the office because you know he's dope yeah. but you know the video's not going to do this many views compared to if you bring little so and so so like you, gotta, you know what I mean yeah. like but you so you got your own shit so it's like that's 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 a beautiful thing and that's just going to continue to empower artists even more you hell know yeah I mean? dog hell yeah man yeah I appreciate it bro it's just, it was dope man it went a lot better than I, I expected I just some random shit just wanted to shoot the shit with you and it, it came out as a Little dope ass fucking chit chat. Yeah, right. so right. like I said, I fuck with you, man. Anything you fucking need on my platform or whatever the fuck you got some shit coming, you wanna whatever the fuck, dog. You you, you got somebody on the team, bro. So definitely, man. Oh, that means a lot, man. Yeah. Likewise, bro. Likewise. Yeah. So let me know. Yeah, bro. Anything you need from me or anything else, like let me know and uh, I'm around, like just hit me, bro. It's it's, right. it's 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 love, bro. For right, sure. Bro. No doubt, bro. Yeah.
All right, my G. All right, bro. I'll let you.